Our last segment this week is a tech corner that was recorded when we had an in-house webinar with Olympus on their Vanta handheld XRF XRD analyzer. While they were here doing the webinar, we said, hey, you're here, you got your equipment, let's do a tech corner. And uh, so here it is. This is our tech corner with Diane Hillhouse of Olympus showing us the Vanta handheld XRF XRD analyzer. We have in the studio with us today Diane Hillhouse of Olympus. And Diane, you're going to be showing us uh, an XRF analyzer, right? Right. And what in the world is an XRF analyzer? <laughs> so this is what one looks like. This is Olympus, Olympus's newest XRF analyzer, the Vanta. Okay. And so XRF stands for X-ray fluorescence. And this is also known as a PMI analyzer or a PMI gun, and it's used for positive material identification of metals and alloys in a fabrication or a uh, plant maintenance setting. Okay. And, and you said x-ray, so is this literally shoot x-rays out the front, like a little ray gun or something? It does. It does. But it's very low-level x-ray, so okay. it's very safe. And the way it works is um, we produce x-rays through an x-ray tube down here. So when I pull the trigger, I'm sending very low-level x-rays into the sample, but enough energy to excite it, to excite the sample, and um, enough that the sample itself will send back its own characteristic x-rays. And then the analyzer takes these characteristic x-rays and it determines what element on the periodic table, or elements in the periodic table or in the sample, okay. and then it determines the concentration. And it can do this in metals and alloys. It can do this in plastics and glass and soil. Okay, so, so so it's not just it's not just metals. Then I was kind of under the impression that these these things were basically metals. But you, you're saying a, a wide array of, of of elements. Right, metals and alloys. It's the most common application okay. or common usage. But uh, we can uh, take a look at elements uh, in pretty much any type of sample as long as there's enough of that element that the analyzer can detect it. Okay, now I know this obviously is a handheld unit, so I'm assuming uh, it's it's portable and you're going to take it into the field, you're going to take it on the shop floor. Uh, it, I know it's a precision instrument, so is it rugged? Absolutely. Uh, the Vanta is very rugged, um, and that's the, that's the number one um, request from customers. Okay. I mean, they've been, they've been around for a while, and again, it's like a laboratory unit in your hand, so the next, uh, the next phase is, can we have a rugged unit? That's what they've, everybody's been asking for. And uh, the Vanta is actually, we put it through some very rigid, rigid, I mean, in addition to the design, we put it through a, a very rigorous uh, testing protocols. Okay. Um, one of them is a U.S. Department of Defense mill standard 810G four-foot drop test. Okay. And uh, again, we're not encouraging anybody to drop an instrument. <laughs> kind of throw it out there under the floor. <laughs> right. But in those type of environments, like the foundry, steel mills, petrochem refineries. Sure, they get banged around. They're going to yeah. get banged around. They're going to get occasionally dropped. Hopefully not not dropped a lot. But, but, they, yeah. but they, it yeah. does. It does happen. So if it gets dropped, I mean, it, we're, it, hopefully you'll keep, be able to keep on going. No, what, help did, you. What's the IP rating on this? So it's a, there's an IP65 rating okay. that's, uh, uh, that protects it against high velocity water and dust. Um, and what I was also going to mention earlier is in that uh, failure testing that we did, um, we also tested all the moving parts, anything that uh, might be broken during usage. Okay. Okay. And for, for example, the trigger was tested over one and a half million times, uh, which is more than you'll ever pull the trigger. I, I think my finger would probably wear out before the trigger wore That's out. That's right, but we wanted, wanted, wow. we wanted okay. to make sure. Yeah, so all the moving parts are tested uh, right. extensively. Okay. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Um, so it seems to me, we mentioned earlier this is, this is a precision instrument. You told me that uh, before the show. Uh, and now you've just said it's rugged. It seems to me those are kind of at odds with each other. I mean, how do you guarantee or, or make sure that, that the accuracy is there even after this unit's been, been banged around as we've just said it can be? Right, right. So that's, that's the balance, right? And, and it's, the, it's the most important part of the instrument. Obviously, to do your job every day, it has to be accurate and precise. And then the ruggedness is, is a bonus. I mean, it sure. really helps with the uh, cost of ownership. But in order to do that, you have to have a very stable instrument. So in the Vanta, we've incorporated um, a couple things. We are using very uh, ultra low noise electronics coupled with a new quad core processor. It's called our Axon technology. So quad core, it's very fast processor. Very then. fast. Okay. So those coupled together give you the lowest detection limits on elements. Uh, it gives you the fastest answers. It gives you the best repeatability. And then it gives you the best reproducibility over, over different instruments. Okay. Um, show us how it works. Sure. So if we can switch over to the gauge cam here, guys. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to test. 
Okay, so you, you're, this looks uh, some sort of extruded bar that you've just put this down on. Right. So okay, and that looks like just your basic, uh, <clears throat> like a smartphone screen. It is. There. That's the. Uh, that's another thing with Avanta. We've designed it with uh, an environment that everybody's used to. Your smartphone, where you're swiping from reading to reading or up and down. Um, your most uh, your most used operations are down here on your favorites tray, and if they're not in your favorites tray, they're no more than two swipes or two buttons away. Okay. So we're going to. <coughs> so you're just going to pull, pull the, the trigger. trigger there. All right. So I notice you put this right down on the sample. As close as you can. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now, so this comes back with a. Now I notice here at the top. Is that actually telling me what this alloy actually is? It is. So we talked about the analyzer obtaining a chemistry from a sample, okay. um, getting the, the element of interest and then the concentration of that element. And then the next thing it does is tries to match it against a library of known, um, known alloys. Uh, we have the industry standards for over 750 alloys in the analyzer. They're most commonly used in the uh, maintenance and manufacturing markets, although it is customizable. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to match the chemistry to an industry uh, industry spec. And you can see we have a nice uh, graphical display. It's color coded. If you're in the green, you're definitely within sp in the industry spec for that element. If you're in the yellow, you're within spec, within the margin of error. And then if you're in red, you're out of spec. Okay. So you can see this. Like the chrome is kind of right on right on the edge. Right there. on the edge. So if you were taking multiple samples, you 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 know you have a lot of shipment comes in from a, from a vendor, and you're measuring multiple samples, and you see that they're reliably showing up maybe really on the edge. In this case, for the chromium, that might indicate you want to do further testing, more extensive testing on your part, or maybe just contact the manufacturer and say, hey, I'm consistently reading, uh, you know, kind of on the low end on the chromium, right? And Right, right. Um, your quality manager in a manufacturing situation or your reliability manager out in a plant, they're going to have protocols for things like that. I mean, they, um, you're using the analyzer to uh, verify the chemistry against a mill test report or an MTR. You want to make sure your supplier has sent you what you asked for and what they said uh, okay. they, said they sent you um, out in a plant. You want to make sure that your supplier sent you, you know, the right component uh, before you install it. Sure, so it's a good good quality assurance, quality control, quality right. control tool. Now I know, <clears throat> obviously, uh, you know, I'm assuming all this data obviously is being stored within the unit. So somebody goes out on the shop floor, out in the field, they take a bunch of measurements, all that data stored in here. What happens with that data? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> uh, it's, data management is extremely important in manufacturing maintenance situations. Uh, you know, when you invest in one of these analyzers, it's not normally just to pull the trigger and right. see what the answer is. I mean, it's about um, uh, archiving that data and having a historical record. It's uh, traceability. It's creating report. It's or maybe all even just further analysis. Right. Uh, yeah, it's all yeah. those things. It, and so um, the Vanta actually has uh, several ways to really easily download uh, and export this data. And I want to show you our I.O. port up here. We'll so there's, it has several port. different ways, pretty much any, uh, any way that you want to download the data, pretty, any situation you're in, you can download it via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, there's a flash drive. You can directly connect it to your computer. There's an SD card. So you should be able to get the data off this very <laughs> pretty easily. Pretty much any way you want, yeah. And okay. additionally to doing it that way, we also it's also cloud enabled, um, which is Obviously, use more and more now, and it's definitely the the way of the future. So you could you could take your you could upload your data, program this to upload your data directly to wherever. I mean, that's a, right. A, not, doesn't necessarily have to be Olympus, a, a third party cloud service, whatever, right? Right. Okay. Olympus has its own cloud site where you can securely store and access data. You could use a third party cloud site. You could use a. Um, Maybe even a, you know, a network drive or something like that exactly, as well. Exactly, okay, exactly. Right. And so, in, in, it's not just for data, but the, you can use it for your fleet management. Um, you can uh, use it. That's where you're going to get your software upgrade, okay. your firmware upgrade, your library upgrade. So there's really there are many many possibilities. For this and cloud very, it looks like very simple to use. An operator could be trained up on this pretty quick. Absolutely. That the user interface that we talked about earlier. Um, that's one of the nice things about it because it is a, an environment, a modern user interface that everybody's used to. 
Um, it's very easy to train on. If you use the analyzer every single day or you only use it once a month, it's very easy to get your proficiency on par to where it needs to be no matter how often you use it. It's very, very easy to use. All right, perfect. Well, this was the uh, the Vanta XRF Analyzer. Uh, Diane, thanks for joining us in the studio this morning. Uh, if you want more information on the Vanta XRF, there is a link underneath the player page. Click on that. That'll take you out to the XRF, the Vanta page on the Olympus site and you can read more about it. Diane, thanks a lot. And thanks again to uh, Diane Hillhouse and Olympus for coming out here and recording that segment. Uh, if you want more information on the Vanta, you can click the Vanta link that's underneath the player page down there.